that's nice. And we got, now we activated a radio. So, let's open that in. It's another light bulb. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's all I'm gonna have to get. You wouldn't want to go back here, please, <laughs> but I can't. We just drop down here. You end. Hmm. Yeah, all that's left now. Now it's the goal to go over to this place here. Here for the last area. Yeah, so like they established the bathroom in that cutscene. Scene of Goose Soap's restaurant. But, but yeah, even though when we see it there, when we get into the kitchen, you'll see that. And it's not, the bathroom's not there. So it's pretty much the same. So it's pretty much the same as Goose Soap's restaurant, except the other one there's a few big differences here and there. So a few big differences from this is that one, it takes place. This is at night time. There's crabs all. Two, there's crabs all over the place. Three, there's these things. So krill in those little water water bags that like Nemo was put in and finding Nemo and yeah, that's very and not sure where collect. Colette went, and then, yeah, yeah, that's another thing, Colette is, is perfectly fine, okay, this, not gonna go after any rats, just not, yeah, here it is in here, as you can see, look, it's supposed to be the bathroom, but, that, it's just a, like one of those food closets, uh, storage rooms here, but it's more like a closet, uh, actually, at this point, or a storage room, because, um, you can tell the stuff here is not food. Food, but yeah. Yeah, so we gotta have Skinner here to avoid, avoid and gotta make sure to avoid them weird cause, cause that will not help at all. But we can't avoid him by going in here. <laughs> you know, just uh, going into this. I see. Well, this is when we start seeing more areas being reused. It's like every dream world we're seeing at this point is going to be reused. Which so far there's only going to be three, three, three in here, and that's counting this one that we're doing now. So we're almost done with the dream world. Just got a few more left. Like two more after this. Listen, I know in some areas in the ground here you can actually stand on some stuff you're not supposed to when when it's about dedicate it's supposed to be a bottomless pit. And, but yeah, so that's how that what so that's quite interesting. You can kinda of break the map kind of. And right, gotta stand on these in order to as they're rotating in order to go 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 on to the next part of Going for this kind of fast, actually, which... Okay, yeah. Like, here's one. One, two, like, you can stand on here. Here, actually, but... But, yeah. Because of that. Once we actually die by falling from a landing on something that's pretty high, not into a bottomless pit. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. These dream worlds can be in this last area here can be kind of challenging actually, and plus this area, this version of Gustav's restaurant, 
he was much more complex here where it's not as easy to get around it onto stuff as it is or as it was in the f first time and plus we need to find eight batteries he's at or fuses whatever those are so in here so it's gonna be quite a complex area to go through everything here and so we're gonna have to do that and so let's try this again. Hopefully we can do not fall and land on something thing that we're not supposed to. Uh, I would think with something like that you would just pass right through it. Or uh, like uh, or something, but mm, makes sense honestly why. Because you could just stand on it, which would have been kinda cool if we had these areas you could explore that led to some secret areas that could you know, that like check point points like if you d lose all your health here and you and you go back to the real world who who your stores restaurant here here since we're at this area. Or you could just go back on back to that certain area to so save your progress and god damn it. <laughs> uh, that one's just a little hard because you have to cross over like two of those fork thing things at the end of spinning in the complete opposite directions. Alright, doing this again here. Here, third time's the charm. As I think I remember this one being the beginning of this one here was the hardest part, from what I remember. Okay, so, kind of good thing that the hard part's at the beginning, because that. Because if you're having the most trouble on that, then. And then. That's kind of a good thing that's at the beginning. Plus, I noticed these things are also spinning that we're standing on, too. So, I think Remy would also spin around that as well. Mm -hmm, but, mm, it makes sense why they didn't. Oh, it would have been kind of cool, though. Oh, when. So, let's try this once again here, and this time we'll actually clear it. Mm hmm. And so this there we go, and now for the part that kept kept dying on. It's kind of best just to go early so you can have time just to get to where you to get out the edge of it to cross over to it. Oh come on! Well, at least I didn't fall die from that completely. So that's good. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Oh my god. I keep rushing this too much. Mm hmm. Well, get this one. I am gonna get this at some point. But yeah, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna do the main mission of the, the of this area until we clear this, because I'm clearing them all. <laughs> so we're going once again here for the fourth time, and seeing how we got almost half the stars, we must mean that must mean we got about halfway. Way at the, that point. Hold on, wait. I'm just rushing too much. That's what my problem is. The, because uh, I'm tempted to just bounce around that at that point, but just gotta wait, slow down, and take it kind of slow. Hey, yeah, see. Look at that. So where the end is up there. So I guess we won't have to wait. We'll probably just about a third of the way done. Come on. <laughs> well, well, we do. <laughs> well, I'm really, man. Sure about it. Okay, I don't really have much else to say on this thing here because we, 
Been doing this like quite a few times already. <clears throat> he left. But yeah, anyway. I guess one thing I can talk about now is that that my how would I think a sequel for this for Vatican Two would be handled? Cause no, honestly, cause. What we got, I would have liked to see a sequel to that too, even if it's a movie or TV show well, on Disney Plus. Uh, which, I would honestly like to see that. Or show me like how rats have a cook in the kitchen, or there's a movie where like rats have a cook in the kitchen for like a TV show, and, and like, I think having a, a movie being the greatest chef in, I mean, restaurant in the world. We're facing up against one that restaurant that's even better. Here is some, so that would be honestly even cool, cool as well. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, this part gets all confusing here because sea star is all in quite a few spots here and and there's. Oh, it goes up. <laughs> no, I thought I had to go back to, on that somehow. But good thing I didn't, because I started standing here. And, yeah, that's what this was for. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to go back up and then go back there. And then go for it. Hmm. Probably could have made it before that, but. Hmm. But, well, I'm just playing it safe here, because after my carelessness and trying to rush it too much, was was get what was getting me killed. And, you know, so. and there we go. We got all the stars and killed here. Oh yeah, twice. <laughs> okay, no more doing that. Thank God. <laughs> Don't get kind of tough there. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just trying to make up for some lost time we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Get over here. Here to get. <laughs> So, Skip. Yeah, so his name was Skip. He finally started in the set of dialogue there. And no one's in that cutscene there. He was. A skimmer was. Said Skimmer, not. It's Skinner. <laughs> My bad. He was setting mm, some tra rat traps down. And so we have to look out for that. And I'm definitely going to be what the next mission is. Is uh, getting rid of those rat traps. And have to slowly get across here. Here as we avoid this lobster. And, and all we have to do is stand on the plates or be next to them. Oh no, I do have to be on them. Um, why aren't they not triggering? Uh, what? Well, what? Wait, was I supposed to do this one? But was I? Oh wait, maybe I was supposed to do the, the one over here first, cause I was about to walk into that mouse trap. Was that? Yeah, I need a can to get over here. Yeah, okay, I see now. I was supposed to do that the one over. Uh, I see what now. I was I was doing the wrong one before. Yeah. Okay, now I figured out what I was doing wrong. 
I was supposed to do, I was doing the second one first and not this one. Get in, there we go. That feel like, can't even hit me, just being bounced off. Yep, there we go. And he's gonna move over here when you, he notices something. Okay, that, now I know what I was doing wrong here. Here, I just have to, I was doing the wrong one at first. Plus, yeah, these things were that light for Remy to carry. I mean, the movie, why? Why they that easy for him to carry in the, in the movie? But anyway, now, now that that's done, we can go in here. Or actually, hold on. First thing first. We got I'll just get rid of this one first since it's right here. Here now we'll the one over here. If I can find it, oh, there he is, it just didn't spawn in time. Hmm. Grab that can and and look, let's get over there. <laughs> the reason we need the can is so we can get up here. And fortunately Kinda of sucks is once this area is closed off, uh, we, it will never open up again. But eh, there's not really much in here, unfortunately. So we just gotta stand on that, and that's it. This is locked in there. <laughs> oh, but yeah. But I just need to just give it all these mouse traps here because there's so many all over the place. Ah, here's what our next mission is. Now we have so we have seven here, and here we get introduced to these. The so sh I guess shrimp is what it is, not krill. Well, we have to lure the enemies in. For the most part, we have to lure them into the mouse trap or the rat traps. And then they're gonna spawn at those little buckets of shrimp. You know, they're gonna try to charge into you. It sucks with that that uh, they are always gonna respawn. Oh man, there's nothing you can do do to prevent that from happening. Yeah, and for the most part, we have to lure enemies into them. And. Oh, where did that one go? Oh, jeez. This completely came out of nowhere. Where was the. Oh, there's one here. Come on. Yeah. Boom. And up here is actually, you know what, might as well just show this off here because it just actually takes his stuff. And once we actually have to use a spoon to take out a mouse trap here. That's the only one we have to do. And one more, more we have to, more around here, I don't remember. Where's the last one? Oh, here we are. It is. Yeah, that. Just because of that stuff was in the way. Me, oh. There we go. All the mouth fast traps are gone. <laughs> and. Next mission's over there, but. Yeah. It's actually trying to find a way to the next dream world with. Which will be. Yeah, gonna need it. And I also forget how you get up here legitimately now. Since stuff in the kitchen's been rearranged quite a bit. But, anyway, for the next mission we need. 
Oh wait, we need to find a spoon. Spoon in order to lure it in there. Yeah, kind of sucks that some of the stuff is like spread it around the room here, so. Well, you're gonna need to find a look hard to try to find what you're looking for. And then. And then that's kind of it. What do you have to do here? So we need a spoon, but I can't seem to find one, unfortunately. Well, don't actually need it, but to continue with. Actually, probably do, actually, gonna think of it and. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just coming through. Move it. Hmm. Well, I guess we can't. I can't seem to find a spoon or anywhere. There was one up here, but it was used for the mission. <laughs> so at this point, we're gonna have to just. Ah, body. But there's a can here, but we don't need a can when can when there's nothing around here for us to do. Yeah, there aren't any spoons away. I guess we are forced to do the next mission, actually. So. The door is locked, and there's nothing we can do about it except go and heal. But nope, there's one of those spike things. Hmm. So, okay, there. Now spoons start respawn, start spawning in. So we can go around and actually use them to access some things that we couldn't before. Yeah, he, well, if we don't need to go self-help, we can do this. It's fine. Oh, right, there's another one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> once I actually took him out before he grabbed it. <laughs> oh, right. I'm gonna need a spoon for the next. Take out this guy as well. Haha, uh -huh. got him. And there. Could go around and take out the other stuff. I feel real quick since I have the spoon. Spoon, but. Hmm. But I guess, might as well at this point. And, I mean, so you can even get rid of the crabs and. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's one more over here. Here and then we can. And continue on the mission. A little sidetracked here, but. Eh. It just kind of helps, so I don't have to do them later. And I don't think there's any more of those crate, spoon crates that I could destroy. Yeah, but it looks like it doesn't look like there is. Oh crud, I didn't even see that. Yeah, you can see how annoying these little, little shrimp are. Ah. It, it just wouldn't take it. Oh wow, it still worked actually. <laughs> that, that's good. It still worked. Got one more, more left and then, then we can actually go into the office and get it. And then, what I remember actually, I think we're going to need a can if I remember. Or I'm thinking of something else. So now we just take that out and now leave the spoon here because we don't need it anymore. And yeah, a whole bunch of ants here and oh that's right, you need that spoon for that. Oh my god. And you actually need to take out all the ants, ants in order to make it through safely. Completely forgot about that one now. And if we fall here, that can't, 
the ball will respawn as usual. And I can even save myself by just jumping, being right as it's about to fall. Oh, so that's good. Like, as even though Smouse Hill was not here before, but, hmm. Well, eh. And there was an outlet in here for some reason. Hey, that wouldn't be off if you, if you were still as off as. Yeah, I should take the spoon back in case we need it. It's, it's in case there's any more crabs or any more of those pink crates to destroy. And there's fire cans. We have not seen those in, since episode 2. That's nice. Yeah, I nice see those again. I don't even need, I don't even need that, that anymore. <laughs> oh, wait. Do I? Maybe for that can? Oh, wait. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, got a first few. Okay, it's a few. That's the first few we got so far out of eight. Because most of them are I can't access right away, which kind of sucks. But, hmm. Eh, what are you good? Because you're pretty much just forced to do this. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and now we just need you to grab this little umbrella and fly towards the can. And then, whoa, uh, bounced off my head there, but the reason we need the can is so we can get up onto this, like, on this, oh, get up there. Yeah, yeah, we're actually in the office, which is nice, which... I think I remember correctly, the doorway is actually supposed to be in the middle of the room here, not off to the side, but, hmm. Well, oh, but this is a pretty accurate depiction of the office, e of Pewter Skull's office, even still. That's why it can be a little tricky. You have to try and land, grab that and then try to land on this, which could be a little. Oh. Anyway, yeah, the book, you know, the book is up here, and top shelf, and there it is, and that's it. <laughs> Got the book, just knock it dead. Like, why would it be on the top shelf of all things? And... Colette's still trying to break in. <laughs> and then she sees the book. <laughs> yeah. The last mission's up there where the meal is. And so, once we go to him, we can start the last mission in. Shit. But, we're not gonna do that yet, because... Because, we still have some extra stuff here we need to do, like... There's two more dream worlds left to do, like, there's one way over there. Fill in one up 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 there, and we also have to collect all of the fuses. And so we still got we got quite a bit of stuff left to do here with here for the most part. Then a bunch of with a bunch of shrimp to deal with. I feel that hmm. yeah, I might as well just kill myself to get my health back. So we got quite a good amount amount of stuff left to do in here before we. Go into the final mission. You actually kind of see what's inside there, underneath the door from here, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and when you're still down in the, uh, sitting here, not feeling too well. Um, but yeah, um, it's nice that, the, uh, it's kind of nice that if you're staying on something up here, feel the shrimp won't get you, which is nice. Nice, but yeah. So, that'll be it for this episode. Here up some next time on Ratatouille, the video game. We shall finish up the game by doing the remaining dream worlds, collecting the fuses, and actually, well, we're actually, we can actually go up here. I just noticed that. You can even get on the door handle. You know if we want, but, or doorknob. But nothing happened. 
Actually, completely. We forgot about this as well. Taking a quick. This is all. It's like one of those things where you're about to end on. This is where you're about to end it, but then last second thing happens. <laughs> it's in. Yeah. We found another fuse. So, that's nice. Hey. So, yeah, okay. Now we're actually ended here, so. That will be it for this episode here. So next time I'm going to read the video game, we shall finish off the game by getting the remaining fuses and the remaining three worlds and, and then finish it, the game off for itself. So I'll see you all next time.